purchased a domain name, we purchased a, ho a hosting account and hooked it up. We were able to get our um, squeeze page designed and uploaded to our website. Now we want to start tracking the results of our system. Now that our funnel is pretty much complete, we want to start sending traffic to it. But traffic is is great, but it'd be great to know how many people are coming coming to our site, where they're coming from, and everything like that. So one of the most important things that you can do to your website is to install a software called Google Analytics. Google Analytics basically is one of the best, um, especially for the price, it's, it's totally free, the best uh, software out there that gives you such a wealth of data about the people who visit your website. So signing up is easy, it's free, and all they do, uh, the only thing to do when it comes to installation is they provide you with a small piece of code that you have to stick on every page of your site. So we're going to go ahead and sign up and we're going to stick that code on the site and that will be it. So let's go to uh, google.com slash analytics um, and we want to sign up and uh, let's sign up for a new Google account now okay so we'll say Kyle at um, three days to cash system dot com we'll choose a password Okay, and then we'll go ahead and create the account. Okay, so now we just need to log into our email system and verify our account. Okay, so once we've created our Google account, we want to basically sign up for Google Analytics. So we go to the Google Analytics site and we sign up. And now we just want to fill out some basic information about our site. Okay, I'm going to set it to Eastern and we will continue. So we'll just basically fill out the name. And create our account. Okay, so once we get to this step, it basically just tells us add this tracking code to the pages on our site. And that's all we have to do in order to get Google Analytics installed on our site. So we're going to just copy this code and go back into our site. Now the trick to this is we got we do have to get into the code of our site. But we don't really have to know anything about code in order to do it. So in Dreamweaver we're going to go into the code mode and so all this code represents our site. So all we do apparently it was already in there so all we do is we want to paste in our code right towards the end, right before that body message. So that's all we do is we just do that and then we save it and that's it. Google Analytics is installed. Okay, now of course we do have to go ahead and upload it to our website. which is easy. We just we have to make sure it gets into the public HTML folder and we just do that and overwrite it. And our code, our Google Analytics code should be installed so every time someone comes to the site it will start to track in Google Analytics stats. So let's go ahead and finish it and it tells us all the information about our site. So, so far it shows that no one's been there. Um, time on site, bounce rate. So, once you log into Google Analytics, you just want to hit View Report. And it's going to give you all of the stats about your site. How many people visited. Um, the percentage of new versus returning view visitors. 
where they came from, um, all kinds of data. The, 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 the keywords they type in the search engines, the most popular pages on your site. Basically, once you get Google Analytics installed on your site, you want to come back regularly and pay attention to what you see because the information is going to be very valuable to improving your website situation.